Hello there, I am Giant Cole with my Pokemon Diamond Redo. In the last part, we took on Heart Home City. We, uh, we, we um, got a glitter powder from Kira, one of the judges in the contest hall. We met Fantina, said that we must become much stronger to battle her. In a gym battle, we met with her mom and she gave us a tuxedo in the contest hall as well. And we battled Sam, so that's pretty cool. And we got an egg that I think is supposed to happen. Hatch into Happini. So that's pretty cool. Let's start with this grass over here. I'm gonna try to get some items that are invisible, I believe. So, um. Oh, wait, how many repels do I have? Because I just want to not run into wall Pokemon if I don't have to, you know? I have 14. I use a repel right here. It's kind of worth it because I don't want to run into any wall Pokemon here, really. So here's an item. It's a honey. Okay, we got another honey. Okay. Cool for honey trees. So that's pretty cool. I don't think there's any hidden items, but you can look at your dowsing machine. In fact, I might do that now, actually, just to be safe. So, let me see. Doesn't look like there's anything around, but let me see in this spot right here. Yeah, I don't think there's anything really here. I'm gonna check over here. I'm not seeing anything. So I'm just gonna go back to the my favorite app with the Pokemon. Okay. So I thought there was... I thought that was gonna be hit, but I guess not. Anyway, let's get into some battles. Like, this is a Pokemon breeder, so I could be wrong. Let me see how much you raise your Pokemon. I think that, yeah, this is a Pokemon breeder, I'm pretty sure of it. Okay, if you talk to this person, I think he'll give you a good rod. Hmm, my good rod is really good. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Hmm, well, it's... We're in identical minds. Here, take this good rod. Nice, we got it. And, uh, no, I don't... Okay, I already explained how to fish in this game, so... Just wait for the exclamation point after you, uh... Well, wait for the exclamation point if you get one. And then when you have an exclamation point above your head, just, um... Press A to reel it in. We win a Pokemon. You know, that's pretty. I'd explained it, so, you know, there you go. Okay, <laughs> how do you use a fishing rod in this game? I jog every morning to keep my Pokemon fit. Now, you can only you can only battle this jogger if it's morning, and I'm actually recording in the morning. So, that's pretty cool. I'm going to switch uh, Bronze with um, Karen because for this double battle, I'll have Jetta and Karen uh, helping each other in this double battle, so let's take it on. These two twins. Uh, we're, we battle together, that's why we're tough. We're going to crush and munch you all up. Okay, that's cool, <laughs> I guess. So in that battle, Karen grew to level 23, which is pretty cool. So let's switch with Inferno. Let's go pick some berries real quick. I think there's berries up here. Yeah. 
petra berry, or leopard berries, and uh, I think cherry berries. Or I could be wrong. I think I'm wrong with the second berry. It's not cherry berries. It's just berries. Okay. So yeah, nice. And let's talk to this Pikachu. <laughs> hi, hi, I'm a Pokemon. Okay, I'm um, in front of. We got paralyzed in that battle, last battle. So I'll put a pearl. I'll give him a pearl. So and I'm gonna heal my team actually now. So. Let's see, let's start with the okay, medicine pocket first of all. Uh, Pearls, yeah, okay, um, and then potion to Jetta. And super potion on bronze. And then we should, yeah, we should be good then, cool. Nice. Let's get this item in here, which is an X accuracy, a battle item. So, yeah. That's cool, that's cool. I did a little cut there because I wanted to move my mic closer so I'm ho hopefully you guys can hear me better or something, you know? I didn't, I should have done that in between points, but I was like so, I was just, I had, I didn't think of it, you know, I'm sorry. Also, here's another jogger. You can only battle them in the morning yet again, like I said. Okay, jogging is about rhythm, or uh, rhythm, battling, and about rhythm too. Yeah. Now that I think about it, when that Star Avia used Endeavor, I realized it was pronounced Endeavor instead of Edivore, so I apologize for that for mispronouncing it. Okay, Jetta is the only Pokemon that's not level 23 right now, so let's switch to let's switch to Jetta. Listen, if you don't mind, I I'd like to have a battle with you, Pokemon. Okay. Jetta was so close to, uh, you know, um, getting a level 23, but you know. So, uh, let me check my Dallas machine for this. I think there's a hidden item somewhere in here. Oh, yeah. So, to the right, and then up one, right? Or, there we go, yeah. Tiny mushroom, nice. Okay, so I knew there was like, it was always suspicious, so I thought there was going to be like a hidden item there, and it, there was actually a hidden item there, nice. So let me switch back to my favorite Pokemon app, or favorite, um, Poketchup, I should say. There we go, okay. So here's the odd key, here's um, a place where you can use the odd key stone and place it there. There's no item in this rock, okay. There's a broken crumble tower made of stone. There seems to be a spot where you would perfect for the Aki stone. Would you like to put the Aki stone? Would you like to use the Aki stone? Yes. Yeah, okay. Nice. It has the stone tower has been restored. Hollow tower is written on it. Now this is where you can get Spear Tomb, but I think you have to uh, you, uh, meet up with 20 people in the, uh, 20 different people in the underground. Um, underground, I should say. And then you go back here at night, I think, and then you can talk to it again and press A on it, and you can battle with Spirit Tomb and try to catch it, you know? Um, but now that the Wi Fi is not supported on Pokemon Dumb and Pokemon Pot, I mean, you'd have to, like, you have to, use, you have to do it locally with, like, people um, who have other 3DSs, or have, if you have 2DSs, then uh, you can just 
meet yourself, I guess. I don't know if that works exactly to meet yourself, but it might work. Here's some more, um, yeah, I think these are cherry berries. Oh, they're raspberries, of course. Here's some more berries, though. So that's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna go up the bike slope instead of going to the tall grass. Okay, here's a here's a ranger, I think, is what the trainer type is. Okay, um, hello, hey there. Where are you from? What kind of fuck ones have you got? So there was like so many bidoofs in that, that the, the ranger had. Um, I'm pretty, not the, well I don't even know if there was a ranger, I didn't read the type name. Dang it. Oh look, I found a Chansey, that's pretty cool. They're pretty rare. Let me see if I can catch this thing actually. Just, just to have it, you know? That's pretty cool. Um, awkward it, I guess. I think Chansey can flee too, so keep that in mind. So you kinda wanna catch it quick. Hopefully, if I use another Aqua Jet, it won't faint it. That's triple slap, come on. You're, you're supposed to win it twice, but sometimes you hit it three times. That's quadruple slap. Yeah, quadruple slap. False advertising, I'm just kidding. Sometimes double slap can hit more than just two times. So hopefully this Aqua Jet won't faint it. If it does, I get a lot. Jetty gets a lot of experience, so it's like a win-win situation. Okay. Oh, you can use softball. Oh man, that's like perfect HP, and then you have to use soft. Well, I think you know the Aqua Jet will faint it, so I'm gonna use like a water gun, or maybe just a swift actually. No, yes. What's your pursuit actually? I'm kind of indecisive right now, but hopefully this won't faint it. But again, if it faints it, then um, it get good experience. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be so annoying. Well, I'm gonna use another Aqua Jet then. You put this on yourself, Chansey. Get Aqua Jet into the face. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. You gotta be kidding me. I I might I might have to cut ahead, uh, edit some of this out, you know. But this takes too long. Okay, let's see if I can catch this and what Pokeballs do I have? I have one great ball and... <laughs> well, this is gonna be hard. Catch rate. Chansey's catch rate is pretty average, but it's not low. Or it's not high, I should say. Yeah. I might just have to faint this for experience. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely do that because it keeps on using soft boiled and stuff. And there we go, nice. So I couldn't catch you, Chansey, but you made it too difficult for me. 500A2 experience. Yeah, that's a really good experience right for right now in the game. Oh, this, this, I couldn't, okay, there's an item up there, but I don't know if I can get it because I don't feel confident. It's really hard, you have to like, turn and then go up, but really fast. Yeah, I'm bad at this. I wasn't really able to get this really, except for like probably one time on one playthrough. Yeah, because you can't even go up there, like, you have to be swift and quick about it. And not run into the wall before you go up the slope. I'm gonna try like two more times and then I'm gonna quit. One. Okay, this is my last try. Yeah, see, it's hard. I can't even get up there. Okay, so. I'll we'll just get off our bicycle. And let's see here, what do we got here? 
I'll check I'll check out the double bottle in a second. Here's another tree that can be cut down. There's I think a TM for something a TM a TM for yeah TM forty seven stealing. Which I won't be teaching the Karen actually, so yeah, if you're wondering that, I'm not gonna teach it to Karen. Okay, so let me go from Inferno and Rose. Yeah. For this double battle. I figure what these trainers have as Pokemon, so we'll have to see. You're not supposed to intrude on my time with Sue. Huh? You went to battle with me? I will I will if I can team up with Ty. Inferno grew level 24 in that battle, so that's pretty cool. Let's pick, here we are in Solacean Town, but I'm gonna pick some berries real quick and then go to the Pokemon Way to sell and buy items. So, yeah, Nana berries. Haha, <laughs> cool. And then the next one's, of course, another Nana berry. Yeah. And the last one, I think, is like a Persian berry, if I were to guess. I could be totally wrong, I'm pretty sure I'm wrong. A Figgy berry, okay, cool. So that's cool, I guess. I'm gonna go my bicycle there for a second. Okay, let's just get a bronze, I guess. And then, oh, I'll put Karen up front. And then bronze, yeah. So let's go buy and sell some items at the Pokemon right, real quick. So I think we can now sell my axe accuracy. Or tiny mushrooms too, nice. Yeah, I think my tiny mushroom and these battle items right here is the only thing I can really sell. And let's see if we can buy something. Buy Pokeballs, we have 12. I'll buy like one more just to have it in a bag. And then potions. I'll buy like two more. Super potions, I want to buy more of those, yeah. I want to buy at least seven more of those, honestly. They're really helpful. Antidotes, we have five, we're good, I guess. Pearl seals, we have all by one more, I guess. Awakenings, we can't go along with awakenings. Let's buy three of them. And I don't really buy burn heals or ice heals, escape ropes, I have three already, so I don't need Repels, okay. Let's buy not that many, not that many at all. Not 13 of them. Let's buy like five more, I guess. Okay, there we go, we're good. We already spent a lot of money, honestly. Let's see, um, and then... Um... Uh, I'll skip out on the Dusk Bowls, because I was thinking about it, but nah, I'll skip out on it. Um, so yeah. And we're gonna take, we're gonna be uh, taking on the Lost Tower in the next part. So that means that's why I have Karen and the Bronze up front because there's ghost type Pokemon that are going to be in that tower. Uh, which the tower, if you didn't see already, I'll show off you quick, is this tower right here. This big old uh, gray tower. So yeah, let's talk to you real quick. Um, where departed Pokemon sleep, this is the Lost Tower. So yeah, that, that's first confirmed that that's the Lost Tower, everyone. And then we're up to, <laughs> here's the way the antenna up ahead. <laughs> up ahead. Yeah. So um, I'm going to heal off off screen and then we'll take on the Lost Tower and we'll see if we can get some of Slay Sand Town done. We probably can. But then we we'll probably won't get the uh, cave d with, done with the cave over here. The Union Cave I think it was called. Which is up there but like we have to hop over ledges and stuff. So this has been the end of my Pokemon Diamond Redux Walkthrough Guide part in the next part. Or right, Redo Walkthrough Guide part, my bad. In the next part we'll take on the Lost Tower like I said. So this has been Giant Girl again. I already like the image again, goodbye, and I'll just see you guys in the next part of my Pokemon Redo Walkthrough Guide.